this one's a big one. This details everything we did from the 22nd of December up until the 27th today. And there was the bonus gifts out and they were fantastic. So we started this on the 22nd by using up the last 200 or so stamina we gained over the last two days prior. And that was the case of Breakthrough came up absolutely bun through that and just got as much as we can because the aim was to get as many bonus gift points as we could before the 24th, which was when the bonus gifts were coming out. So we were hammering through this. We were getting coins, we were getting skill boosts, we were getting XP and we were getting the occasional token here or there to help us on the Snowflake branch towards that path to glory, towards the episode of greatness. And we started on this episode at 91 overall and depending well we didn't know how the bonus gifts were going to go at the start of the thing we were just getting there to get prepared we had no idea how great they were going to be and i'm pretty sure all of you can agree that they were fantastic so these popped up 50 skill boosts of three gold points so we bunned through all of those that's 250 skill boosts which is essentially 10k fps worth of skill boosts well, this was just the start because we knew what was to come well we didn't know what was to come should i say but watching this all now, you know what was to come after this. It was about to get pretty fantastic indeed. Um, so we got all of those. This episode's a long one, to be honest. There's just so much to cram in, so much to show you. So much happened over these few days. I can't quite believe it. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably looking at your own squads thinking, did did you really manage to do that? Like, you're probably thinking about your own squads. We picked up Varane because 87 centre-back, he looked absolutely solid. 400 points because we was up to 660 and I thought, yeah, we'll go for Bale. We'll get Varane because I want Varane for my centre-back. Because my centre-backs are going to be the weakest point of my defence and I need to improve those a lot. So Varane had that impact there. And the idea was, OK, we'll get enough to get Bale, so we'll get Bale. That plan changed, as you'll see on in the episode. But Varane was there and I heard good things. People saying he was stopping people's rainbows. So I was happy to bring him into the side. And he just looks like a really solid defender that I'll be happy to upgrade as I go along. So absolutely no complaints there. And in my plus six skill boost took him up to a 93. And was at that 91. So it was pretty decent indeed. We then jumped over and thought, let's upgrade Veron actually. We've got some XP spare. Let's pop him up. So we took him up to a 94 and 88 overall, and that took us to 92. We calculated it was only one off. What I do is I get my 11, I've got an Excel sheet, and I divide my, my starting, or my I just divide all their things by 11 to see where I'm at, and then I just add it on until I get to it. There was the freeze tournament, however, because it was, it was um, this obviously came over over the Christmas weekend. I was out for all of it, so I didn't actually really get to play weekend tournament properly. I played about three or four games um, in between going out and everything, so I didn't really have a proper go at the weekend tournament. So I think in the end, I just got some XP and some freezing points for five wins, but that was all I about managed. So there's a little clip from the first game here, but really, I wasn't able to take advantage of the tournament. Um, but I'm sure some of you guys may have done. For me, it wasn't possible. I was just way too busy. I was out constantly. Christmas time, busy time. But that's the beauty of this game. For the rest of the objectives, you can just turn on, turn the game on for a few seconds, for a minute or two, and um, do do some leveling up and stuff. As long as you weren't playing, it's easy. So day 23 was three gold gift points. And obviously, we've got the dupe. So we got some more gift points, so that was fantastic. They were going to help us out with the bonus gifts to come. Because it was the 23rd here, so we haven't even seen the madness of the bonus gift ship. But your hero points came up, and I thought, I'll get them. They're handy to have to store away ready for when we're about to suppose, because we haven't spent any hero points yet since the start of the game. We'll wait until we've got a right arsenal on us to unleash those, but we're picking up these bonus gift points ready, because we were ready. We were ready indeed, and I believe looking at the clip timeline as putting this together, someone from our league bought one of those £48 gift packs, which gave you um, a bunch of items. So we've got one elite gift point and four gold gift points. So thank you to Ronnie in the head second division who bought that. He actually bought another one, but I only managed to capture one on camera because I thought it was just going to be coin contribution. And then the 24th hit, and straight away, there we go 10 bonus gifts for 500 skill boosts. Wow. And there was this gift doubler. Now, I was quite pissed at the time. I was quite drunk of reading what was in these. So I bought it, um, totally ignored the red text there. Didn't read the red text saying, does not apply to bonus gift. I thought it meant it will double your bonus gift and then it will double an additional one. So I was thinking, sick, sick, 1,000 skill boost. That's like, 
a billion gillion FIFA points worth. Well, no, it's about 40k, but still, this is 20,000 FIFA points worth just for 10 bonus gift points. So we jumped on that. That's 1,500 skill boosts straight away into the bank. And I was starting to regret buying the 1k doubler with the FIFA points we had saved up. I was like, hang on, why did I not get it? I double checked. By then, it was about it was about what half it was about 8 p.m half seven and i'd been drinking since like 12 p.m in the day um, we always go out all day on christmas eve so i was pretty drunk and then i opened this and it was obviously two gold gift points for four players but this was double to eight and it was an absolute waste we absolutely we wasted one thousand of a hard earned thief points on four gold players and this was when i realized it wasn't for the next right i was thinking okay well at least it's going to double all these so we'll open these up and then I realised nope, it was literally the next one only. So that was a mistake. But we live and learn. We move on. And we saw rivalry points. Because when these rivalry points appeared, I thought, OK, this could be a change of plan. Messi is going to help our team more. Top, top striker is going to help our team more. Although Bale's definitely better. In my situation, I just felt Bale would help us more. Especially with me packing Alessandrini. And Alessandrini being a really solid right mid. I wanted to continue using Alessandrini. Um, although Bale's definitely better I just thought Messi would help us more so that was like okay great we'll get that now that's going to help us we're going to have to wait till the end of like January 2nd to get Messi unless more come up in the meantime more skill boost came back this is literally the next clips now are just every so often when skill boost and bonus points um, came up and it was literally skill boost we were going all in on, on the bonus offers and on the elite points we were waiting out for the Liga rivalry things because we're thinking the sooner we can get Messi, the better. We had two points left over for it. Hey, we'll just do this, see what we can get out of this gold pack. And they were not giving out for us. So all the gold player gift packs were a waste. We had eight bonus offer points, so not enough for 10th round. I thought, could, let's open two icon packs. Let's risk it. Worst case scenario, we use the icon XP on Petit. Best case scenario, we get an icon. And in the first one, we get XP, XP and we don't really get many players so that was a shame big shame indeed there but um it's the risk you take when you play that style it's always worth a risk and um, we opened two of them just they were that rubbish i only showed you one and we use this on petit to get him up to an 89 or did we go up twice on him i think we just left it there 89 up to petit we took him to a 96 overall for the squad and he was looking nice and beastly there. Nice all-round upgrade up to 93 on overall because obviously we'd got all these skill boosts. We'd literally opened about 3,000, 3,500 skill boosts by now. And our skill boost stats were absolutely flying up. And getting to 93 was when I realised, hold on a minute. We've still got all them coins with it from doing the breakout so many times and also p buying coins with the bonus gift points because it was like four or five gold gift points for 150k so he bought that a bunch of times which was like 750k each time and it was like yeah we can get yashin actually we can buy a couple of russians upgrade them a little bit with our skill boost that were now much higher and we was there we only had to spend a couple hundred k and we got ourselves yashin for the team so there's our second icon and we were chuffed a bit because that was going to boost up a lot of ratings and the skill boost came back. We only had 11 gift, um, gold gift points left at this stage. Um, in between, we were still trying to get gift points how we could. But it was always worth spending them on more skill boosts because skill boosts make the world go round. And skill boosts help you out no end. It's the easiest way to quickly level up players without needing to use XP. So they stay forever. Unless you, you inter keep introducing brand new skill boost styles, which this stuff helps for a great catch up. We had four points left, and that's perfect to get another La Liga rivalry pack. We've been back up to 720 now, and this was going to be at least 50 from here, and hopefully more. So we've got 100, so we've got double the amount, 820. A uh, bunch of skill boosts, and obviously the final two or three players at the end are what we're hoping to be good. Uh, but if not, we're mainly doing this for the La Liga rivalry points, just to get there quicker so we can get ourselves. Because we'd set our sights on Messi, if you hadn't figured for Messi, solid striker. I'm probably not going to be able to get like his, his Messi team of the year card, which I'm probably going to get main account. So Messi was my aim here, just because a striker is going to improve us more. We upgraded our skill boost further thanks to that. Yeah, she took us up to level 37. We got a bunch of level ups just due to all the 
all the um, skill boost levelling up we were doing because we had lots of skill boost spare but was only levelling up as we needed them in our team and um, just buying these gifts I've skipped some of the gifts out and paraphrased them just because the video is getting long but we got ourselves an extra 300 rivalry points there because obviously in the meantime I was getting every three every four three or four hours the points and that was managed to unlock some snowflake nodes so that was helping us out and we could afford to unlock one more La Liga rivalry point another hundred so that was cool and we skipped through 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 flew through these skill boosts to get to the end think come on give us some good and there was nothing of worth in this that was a shame but it was all mainly for the points and we got ourselves to 94 because we took Ali we thought let's do it let's make our first legendary player so we took Delhi Ali up to 100 and then it was time we was getting close I thought let's prepare for Barca now just in case we get towards the end prices seem to be pretty sturdy so the sum we eventually got he took me about half an hour I realised I was at the start of the Spain chapter 5 so I wasn't actually far off going for him so grinded campaign out a little bit to get to Umtiti um, managed to auto play my way through that got Umtiti which was going to save us some coinage get for more than 75k and get a few other players we need obviously I'll show you the team and then we got to this stage where it was like do we want some club crafts? skill boost we still only have one master point so there's not much we can do with this but the La Liga rivalry pack opened to be in because every time this came back and we had enough at the time I was like that's one day closer to Messi and there was that 1,400 now I was thinking okay unless anything appears again but we're pretty much almost dry out we're two days away so this was on the 25th 25th still 25th daytime so we had the 25th at the refresh on Christmas evening and then Boxing Day. No, it was the day after. So I'm recording this on the 27th. And the 27th was when I finally got there. So we knew we was the 26th 80 points and the 27th 80 points away from it. So things were looking up. We managed to do another node on the Snowflake, which netted us a bunch of elite tokens and gold. Well, two elite tokens and eight gold gift tokens. And straight from that, it was then a free hit on the next part of the tree to claim free gold plus gift points. And oh my god, we got hella, hella, hella lucky because this is free. This is only free. And we got two master gift points. Took us up to three. Sadly, the date the hourly events had ended, but we knew that now we've gotten to the January second, and with three master gift points, unless we can get more in the meantime, and probably going to pull the trigger on a team hero when it comes around, because. Team Heroes, two points, and then at three points, it was like a freeze bundle, I think, and at, or was that five points? Either way, I think in my situation, the Team Hero seems the best bet, um, and hopefully we can get like Benucci or someone. I'd love to get Benucci, but um, now you get us to what happened a couple of hours ago for me. We had got there. We had got the, the 1,525 points we needed. We claimed them all, so I was being the last one to claim I didn't really show you claiming them already, did I? You got the idea. I've claimed them all here. You can see them claimed. And it was time to go assemble the squad we'd previously put together. So it was at 94 uh, before that. And I was thinking, hopefully Messi... Well, I've got the coins anyway. I've got the 6 million or so coins. I've been using these to upgrade players as I've been going each week and upgrading the skill boosts. And I was thinking, Messi should hopefully give us the edge up to 95. And that would be absolutely phenomenal. Uh, three days ago, I had no go at 91 thinking, I had no idea what was about to come. Thinking, how can I go up? I've seen a lot of you on Twitter as well at Jerbly and HD. If you don't follow me already, this is the Barcelona squad I put together. Had to spend a little bit upgrading, um, Digne and the model, I believe it was. Actually, no, I just needed to do the skill boost, then it was fine. So I didn't actually need to spend XP, just had to upgrade their skill boost. And the game's straightforward enough. You're playing against, what, like an 81-82 rated Real Madrid team. Nothing too complicated there. It was just formality, really. Uh, but, yeah, follow me on Twitter at JBD and HD if you don't already. I know a lot of you guys have improved your squads massively over these last few days. The skill boosts have definitely come into play. And all these La Liga rivalry points have seemed like a absolute madness to get involved with. I know a few of you free to play completed Bale and Messi, so fair play indeed. But um, we got Varane from Madrid for our defence and then we went Barca to get Messi for our striker because Dyde has been absolutely fantastic for us but Messi was going to take us to that next level in sheer strike force godliness power. And here he was, 91 Messi, 
joining the squad. And I was thinking, all right, he's got one of the newest skill boosts. It may not be as high, but after that was on 94. I was thinking, damn, Daniel, that's what we can do here to upgrade. Can we upgrade a few players? I was thinking, okay, let's have a look at Andre Gomez. I know he's on the left mid, and Diabol has been doing bits. But Andre Gomez, he was on 88 dribbling. So we upgraded the skill boost up. And that took us to a 92. Then we thought, let's train him. Because we want to get him to roulette if we're going to put... Um, sorry, not roulette. We want to get him to rainbow. So I thought, one or two overall. Two overall. One or two overall should do it. So we upgraded him twice. And he dribbled and he went one, up once. And I was like, damn. That got us to the 95 we needed. But we went up one more again. And that did get him the plus one dribbling to 90 that we needed. And he was up to 95 at left mid. Our team here at Dybala no longer gets into our squad. But he was useful at the time and he got us into that gateway. And we end this episode with an absolutely phenomenal past few days. There's been a couple of leaks on Reddit and Twitter that apparently for New Year's Eve event, there's a right wing Zares coming. So my right wing, I don't want to touch just yet in case that is true. Um, if not, we'll sort out a right wing and a centre back we need to sort out as well instead of Park Dong Jin. But leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here. Come follow me on Twitter at HD, and I'll see you all later. Peace.